Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the brand new video. And in the last video, we finally got ourselves an infernal cape. I think I just did it. Come on! This is the best feeling ever! Come on! Yes! Let's go! Good shit, man. Yes! Good fucking shit. Oh my god, this is the best feeling ever, dude! <laughs> And honestly, the feelings of obtaining the cape were very similar to winning Deadman Mode 1v1s. And then obtaining this cape actually gave me a lot of extra motivation to finish one of the final goals I had for this account. And that goal is to max it. I've never had a maxed account in Old School RuneScape, and the first objective is going to be to go from 97 to 98 Slayer, getting over 1 million experience in total. And that will do for a very, very good video. We're gonna be price checking all the loot we will get and we're going to be trying to be as efficient as possible to get as quick experience as possible to slowly work our way towards maxing the account. There it is, man. <laughs> Look at the stats. It's so good. Holy fuck, man. I want to make sure I have the best possible gear that I can have. And the one thing missing from maxing slot strength for me right now is rapier. So I currently do not have a grassy rapier. And oh, I actually thought I would have to sell some justiciar pieces. Let's put 178 mil for that bad boy. And this will pretty much be a best in slot all the way for my, uh, you know, for the tasks where I need to use melee. This is the first time I get to wear basically max melee gear and honestly it feels so good. Look at the stats like holy moly. Alright, but my first task unfortunately isn't the melee task. Uh, we got ourselves some smoke devils to do so let's get in magic. Let's go ahead and do the task. The first superior of the video. Let's see if we can get something cool. Nothing. And that is the second superior of the task. Here we go. The task is completed. What do we get from the big boy? A rune full helm. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna quickly go to the bank and uh, then come back, pick up my cannon and continue on with my slayer. Got this amount of experience from that one. We are currently, basically now we are 1 million away from 98. And on top of that, we also gained about 424k. Now I am not counting in the losses in this video. We're just talking about straight profit because I, ha I will have a bunch of cannonballs, a bunch of runes, and it's gonna be pretty much impossible for me to keep track of everything. I guess I will try to get somewhat of a loot pile in this tab, but obviously a lot of runes and different things are gonna go in different tabs. It's gonna be a, bi a bit of a mess. So I will be price checking pretty much after every trip. I think that way we're gonna be able to keep the best track on how much money we are actually making. We are going to be taking all of our tasks from Duradel simply because I am going for the most XP tasks. So if I get different boss tasks, I will most likely not do them for this video as I am going for that fast experience. I do want to get that Slayer to 99 as fast as possible. And I guess we're going back to Smoke Devils after a couple of skips. 200k. An extra 130k to the loot and the new task. Cave crack, and this is actually one of the few that I do want to do. I still don't have a pet, and you do get some decent profits doing it, so let's do some Kraken. So recently a few of you guys noticed that I became a lot more active on my second channel and I pretty much upload stream highlights every single day for the past two weeks. As you guys know, making RuneScape videos actually takes me quite a while. I can pretty much upload maximum one video a week. Uh, sometimes one video every two weeks, but if you guys want to see me on the daily Simply go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. Give some videos a shot. Honestly, I do think they're hilarious They're funny at the moment though. We are uploading mainly League of Legends content But in the future that can pretty much be any game that I enjoy playing I will be leaving the link on the top of the description Please go ahead and subscribe and enjoy some extra content for me, but for now let's continue on with Kraken here we go, the full Kraken task is completed, got about 2.24 mil out of that, as you can see the loot is fairly nice, I also am going to be leaving quite a little bit of a loot on the floor, so if you guys want to do multiple trips, feel free to do so. For me though, Sanguinasty staff makes it so I can pretty much do everything in one trip. So very nice trip right there, and I guess I'm about one tenth of the way done with the video, so we already made quite a bit of money, very nice. 7 Mithril Dragons, that should take no time at all. I don't think I'll be using Justiciar much more now that I have my Infernal Cape, so we're gonna quickly sell everything for the lowest price, and hopefully we'll be able to afford ourselves a Dragon Hunter Lance again. First thing I'll sell is just the loot tab that we got in this video so far. We are up to 80 million, but I need a bit more. Sold some extra items, and I should be able to afford the Lance for about 90 million right now, that's huge. 
Very nice, every time I get a dragon task, I can use this weapon and it's gonna be great. Very fast task for 50k. And I guess we're doing Abbey Specs next. Here we go, the very first superior specter. Let's see if we can get something cool from that. A fun fact, a very first heart, imbued heart, that I ever received was from a superior specter. However, this time we just got a Ronar weed. Here we go, second superior of the task. Let's see what do we get. 2.5k experience and a ton of good herbs, very nice. Alright, Abby task completed, we got just about 340k from everything that isn't herbs, uh, but it's hard for me to keep track of herbs simply because I have the herbs egg, but if we were to just take the loot in total, I guess it would be about 600k, as I don't pick up all the small drops, I just pick up the Renars, the Irids, the, the expensive herbs pretty much, but yeah, let's say about 600k from this task. Apparently we're killing some Kraken boss, usually you just get Kraken, but I guess we can do, honestly if we want to go for XP, we should probably just do 3, because I'll do the full boss when I am... Uh... You know, when I am doing uh, the Kraken task, I guess. 67k. 244 Basilisk. Here we go, the very first superior Basilisk Sentinel. Right, let's see if we can get something cool from that. 5000 Slayer experience. And the loot is Death Runes and Coins. Now, Basilisks are fairly slow and the drops aren't that great. So the first ship is 116k. 113k. Another superior Basilisk. Here we go, 5,500 experience, and and we get a rune X and a couple of runes. 128k, and I still have about 96 to kill, so I'm now fully decided that I'm never gonna do basilisks again. Well, at least not while I'm going for the experience, because it is extremely slow to kill them, and it's just, I don't think it's worth it, even though there's a rare chance of receiving a 22 million drop. Uh, for the future, we're not gonna be doing this task. 100k. Another superior, and we get Rune Battle X. 150k, 93k, 30k, and the task is finally completed. Ooh, very nice, 246 Necreals. Here we go, the very superior Necreal of the task. Let's see if we can get something good out of this one. Here we go, 3000 Slayer experience, and I think we got a Rune Chain Body and the Totem Base. 250k, 240k, 434k. 275k. Ooh, 156 Dagonovs, meaning that we are probably gonna go ahead and just kill Dagonovs Kings. The very first drop, Warrioring. Two Rex kills later, we actually got ourselves a Dragon Axe. And then the Prime decided to drop us a Mud Battle Staff. Oh my, I just started the stream, didn't even have the recorder up, and there it is. Berserker Ring. That's so cool. That's almost what? 2.3 mil. That's amazing. I just got a Mud Battle Staff, another one. Oh, there it is, another Dragon X, quite a while without a drop. There it is, task completed. Let's check how much money we got in just a second. Dragon X's are only 34k, how crazy is this? Like, Rune Battle X is almost more expensive. Two Mud Battle Staffs, 88k each. Nice little Berserker Ring for 2.3 mil. 43k for a Warrior Ring, and then on top of that, all these bones. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that much money, so that's like 4.2 almost. 4.2 mil from this task alone. That's pretty solid, I'd say. Black dragons, I kinda have to do this, it's too fast. Dark beasts, 14 of them. 38k, and the new task is going to be, I guess, Ankus. That was a very quick task for 16 law runes and a couple of bloods. Uh, but for the future, I'll always barrage Ankus, actually. And we got Dark Beasts again. Oh my god, hello! Rune Dragon, 6 of them. Fine, let's do it. We just made 180k in just about 5 minutes from these, so that is pretty fast money. Especially with Max Gear on task, it's just really nice. And the next one, I guess we're going back to Dark Beasts. Now here we go, finally a good task that I can barrage, let's go ahead and do it. There we go, 3000 experience and we get uh, just a totem and some blood runes. Alright, I'm gonna hop for this guy because he wants to have this world, fair enough. 311k, 310k, and 303k in the next one, we're almost done. And 95k, and we can take a new task. So you can cannon those, so we're gonna do those in a little bit. Suqua task was very fast, very decent, and the next one is, I, I guess I can do Mithril Dragons, it's very fast. We just got ourselves 137k extremely quickly, and on top of that, Chewed Bones. I'm currently saving a bunch of them, and well, if I remember, I'll open them at the end of this video, but if not, I'll open them maybe at the end of Slayer. I wanted to open at least 10 at a time, I don't wanna open each one at a time. Um, but yeah, Bloodvelds, the loot from Bloodvelds, just about 90k, and uh, we'll see if I'll do them more in the future. Now, Sarachnis, uh, well, 
I guess Cave Kraken is fine. I still want to get a pet, so I'll be doing Kraken all the way until I have a pet. At that point, I will stop doing this task. Before we continue with Kraken, I want to go ahead and sell a little bit of my loot tab just so I can buy a bunch of Implinks to buy a bunch of Eclectic Implinks, which we will be opening on a separate video uh, because at the moment I just have about 200k and also my supplies are going pretty low. So we have to sell a little bit of the loot tab, make some money, and then I can buy a bunch of things that I want to buy. So uh, let's quickly sell everything. There we go, 6 mil, Warrior Ring is not selling for 40k, oh my god. Let's see how much Eclectic Simplings are right now. They're not that much, let's go ahead and buy about 2,000 I think. 1.7 million coming in from the first trip. And another 688k from that task, so that's pretty nice. 166 Dagonovs. This time around I don't feel like doing the king, so we are just gonna cannon the small ones instead. Very quick 100k, and for the next time I have Dagonov task, I will definitely be taking the bracelets to extend it. I'm not quite sure if that's what you wanna have, but that's what I have. And if I get Abyssal Demons, I think I'll just barrage them, but let's go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> wow, alright, well, I guess we're gonna <laughs> barrage some Abyssal Demons. Let's do it. I just woke up and here is the very first Greater Abyssal Demon. Let's see if we can get something cool from them. Here we go, 4000 experience and we just get an Insult Head and the Totem Base. Superior number 2 right here, 4k XP again and Dark Totem Top with some herbs. Abyssal Demon task 125k. Alright, we're going back to Cave Kraken. This time around, I will take full Ancestral. Trip number one, a nice little million and 60k. Kraken task completed. Sanguinasti staff combined with Ancestral top and bottom is perfectly fine. You almost never need food. And when you do, you can just use Blowpipe special attack on Whirlpool. And that's gonna heal you out perfectly fine. But let's price check this trip. 660k, 20 Dark Beasts, 26k, 182 Calphites. Alright, I wasn't quite sure if Calphites are worth doing, but uh, I'm pretty much getting 70k XP an hour AFKing while I'm editing the video that you're currently watching, so it's honestly not a bad task. When I'm paying attention, I can probably bump this up to 80k an hour, maybe even more, so maybe next time I'll try to fully try hard to this task, uh, but pretty enjoyable one. Let's see what the next one is. Also, I didn't pick anything up, by the way. No loot from this one. 5 Adamant Dragons, 125k in pretty much 4 minutes. I didn't know added dragons are this good, that's pretty solid. It appears we're continuing with the dragons, 7 mithril ones, 100k. And I guess we're going back to Abyssal Demons. Here we go, another superior Abyssal Demon, let's see if we can get something cool from this one. Here we go, and we got ourselves a Dark Totem base and an Insult Head. And here is another superior demon. Now the thing is about this task, it's so annoying and like, you can't really AFK it. You need to click all the time if you want to get good XP rates. And I kind of like to be lazy, so I think for the future I might actually be blocking this task. I don't really know if it's worth it. I think if you like to just pay attention, it's a decent task to do. Uh, but I personally just like to AFK heavily, so I don't think I'll be doing it again. I'm not sure, maybe I'll change my mind, but... Uh, ooh, the task is completed, and I still get to kill this Abyssal Demon, so that's pretty cool. That doesn't often happen. There we go, and we get an Abyssal Head and Dark Totem Middle. It seems like we're getting Dark Beasts all the time, but anyways, we ended up getting a Rune Chain body pretty much from the Abyssal Demon task, so there's that. Also, for those of you wondering, 418,000 Slayer XP remaining, 46k, and finally, a really, really good task, 219 Necridols, 327k, 294k, here we go, a superior Necriarch finally got one, let's see if we can get something cool from it, boom, 3000 experience, and we get a Dark Tone on top with a Rune Madhelm, 253k, second Necriarch of the task, here it is, 3.4k XP again, and we get a Dark Totem base, and probably a Rune Mad Helm as well. And an extra 389k to finish the task off, very nice, we are now 345,000 experience left to go in this video, so let's see if we can get some more fast tasks. 17 Dark Beasts, 35k, I guess we're going back for 11 more kills. Oh my god, I'm just getting Dark Beasts all the time. 7 Mithril Dragons. 77k and the new task is abyssal demons i said i'm gonna block these actually so here is what we did uh we basically disabled all the options of getting basilisks of getting boss tasks 
of getting all sorts of things. I disabled everything and we are also going to block Abyssal Demons. So I still have 400 points left and I should be getting some better tasks right now. I guess I'll do 10 Steel Dragons. Quick 72k. And we got some Dagonovs. I'm not gonna do Kings right now, I just want some fast experience. 170k, mainly those Snapdragons, very nice. Let's go ahead and grab a new task. And we are pretty much almost 300k away from 98 Slayer. Ooh, Smoke Devils, probably the best tasks to get as well. Very nice, let's do it. Superior Nuclear Smoke Devil. Let's see if we can get something cool from this guy. Here we go, Nuclear Smoke Devil is dead. Do we get something good? Nope. Another Superior, very nice. There we go, what do we get? I think I just got two half key from that one, but not bad. 323k and an extra 68k. Necreal, okay, pretty decent, 240 of them. Another superior, I've been getting pretty lucky um, with the amount of superiors we are getting. So let's see if we can get something cool from this one. Here we go, let's see what we get. I have absolutely no idea what I just got because everything is on the floor and I have no clue. But we probably got a totem and that's it. 247k from the trip number one. Here we go, another one for you to just watch. Anyways, let's see what we get. Dark Totem Base, Wines of Zami. Not bad. What? Okay, back to back. What? This guy literally just spawned. What? That has never happened. Very nice. Okay, let's go again. I really want that channel to also work out, so I'm not only limited to RuneScape, you know? It's my big goal, and I'm gonna put a lot of effort, and I'm gonna invest into it. Here we go, another kill, another 3k XP, and another totem with Wines of Zami. Nice. Here we go, another Necriarch, and we are almost out of death runes, so that means we're gonna have to go and sell some loot, buy more death runes, and then continue on with Slayer. Very nice experience, and we got a totem, so now we need to figure out what we do. I think I'll just drop some axes and quickly go to the bank. 313k. I will sell quite a little bit of a loot tab, and uh, yeah, let's see how much we get out of it, just so we can afford a lot of death runes, and uh, I guess a lot of potions that I don't have at the moment. Alright, let's collect. We got ourselves uh, just almost 6 mil of that, very nice, so let's just buy death runes. How many can we get? I guess I can do that right now, so... There we go, that's all we needed, and we have a little bit of extra cash for, I guess, potions when we need to buy them. Here we go, another Necriarch. I've gotten so many of these, I swear this task. Extremely lucky, I'd say. Here we go, 3k XP, as we already know, and we got a square shield. Not bad. Another 300k, and we only have 30 left. Also getting extremely close to 200,000 experience left, so it's probably gonna happen in this task, so... I don't know why I'm talking this, I'm not gonna put it in a video anyways. Um, boom, 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 I want you in my room, and we go. And 243k to finally finish the task. 260k from those Dagonovs, got extremely lucky with the Snapdragon Seeds, got three of them, so that's really awesome. Eight Rune Dragons. I always get surprised how much money you actually get from Rune Dragons. This time around we also got a Dragon Plates Hurt, so 372k in total. 133 Dagonovs, we're going straight for the cannon. 86k, let's do 72 Sukuas, they are very fast with cannon, so I like this task. I'm kind of forced to do this Dark Beast task simply because my point counter is fairly low. I only have 300 points left, so let's do it. We are getting so close to being done, but we are still pretty far away. And we have 215 more Necreals, so that's gonna get us extremely close, I'd say, to 98 Slayer. Let's get right into it. Here it is. I've had so many Necreals today alone that I can't even remember how many I got, but let's see what we got from this one. Here we go, a lot of experience, and I think we got a Dark Totem base and a Rune Chain body. Very nice. 371k from the first trip. Would you look at that? It is uh, another Necriarch. What a surprise. Here it is. Please give me something cool, and I think I just got, what, the Dark Totem and the Rune Square Shield? Not too bad. I honestly can't wait till the end of the video to see how much money we actually made because these Necreal tasks are adding up for sure. There's 280k more and uh, yeah, we're slowly but surely moving towards our goal. I would assume this would be one of the last superiors of this video unless we get a next task and we get more. But uh, yeah, we are almost done with this task and we have about 100,000 experience left to go. And here it is, another big fella. Let's see if we can maybe get a heart, finish this video strong. 
All right, here we go. What does this one give us? This one gives us a blood rune. I mean, a couple of blood runes and the dark totem base. Let's add 450k to the total loot. The reason why this is so much more is because we got two snapdragon seeds, and those are pretty expensive right now. 255k and the task is completed and if you look at the chat we now have completed 400 tasks we get some extra points which gives us some extra breathing room for you know more skips however we are only 85k away from uh, finishing our goal for the day so let's just grab one or two more tasks and finish off the video 83 sukuas as before we're just gonna cannon those they are very fast going from sukua straight to calphites both of these tasks i don't actually pick up any loot so there is no drops and we are only 73k slayer xp away from 98 slayer only 54k slayer xp to go and we get seven mithril dragons 76k still about 50k experience to go we get kraken i don't want to do it right now it's gonna take me too long I want to get a fast task, finish off the video, thank you for Dust Devils. Here we go, Superior Smoke Devil, very nice, I actually thought I wouldn't get more, but I guess the luck continues. Alright, here we go, let's see if we can get something good, and we get some Quarms and a Dark Totem Top. The very first trip, 317k, and I kind of cannot believe that we only got one task of Dust Devils in like over a million experience so uh yeah pretty interesting there 347k and 184k plus we are insanely close to finishing 98 slayer right now so let's go ahead grab most likely the last task and see what do we get and i guess we're gonna be ending it where we started on smoke devils very nice let's go ahead and finish the video off strong oh that's kind of awesome we just got a superior and I think, well, we might actually get an accidental level beforehand, but it would be really cool if I can just kill it and get the level as I do it. That would be really awesome. But I think I might accidentally get it beforehand. Either way, we are going to be finishing it off by killing the superior nuclear devil, which I think is an amazing way to end the video. So just one more kill and we get the level up. There it is, 98 slayer. Over 1 million experience gained in just this one video alone. This video took me pretty long time to make. Um, but yeah, we are going to finish this uh, kill right here. And then we are gonna go back on the video and round up all the loots. Like all the money we've gained throughout the entire episode. But anyways, let's see what do we get. We got some rune arrows, I think. Some magic logs. Generic stuff. We pick up the cannon. We go ahead and check all the loot that we got. And then we conclude the video. And I guess for the final trip, we got ourselves 168k. So as promised, at the end of the video, we went back and added up every single price check of the video. And the total amount comes out to be about 22 million 295 thousand so that is gonna be just straight up profit we got from this episode but obviously a lot of it was reused back into supplies back into potions cannonballs barrage runes and some of it was also invested for the future video that i don't want to spoil but if you did watch the video you will know what we invested in However, I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video and once again go ahead check out my second channel for the daily stream highlights if you have nothing else to do, especially now that the viruses are spreading, a lot of people are gonna be inside, go ahead and watch some videos, show some love to my second channel and I'll be back very very soon with another upload and I do hope I'll see you again there. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.